What's up, nerdlings? What up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for coffee madness? Let's, Let's get, get energized! Hey, nerdlings, it's Jasmine from Nerdy Blush and Cosplays, and you're watching Do You Nerd? Mail in, mail in, mail in, mail in, mail in, mail in, mail That's right, nerdlings, we got a box from Coffee Madness. Now, they are fellow YouTubers who, uh, Love to show off their collection, bring you all kinds of facts. Usually if you've got just a few minutes, they're going to fill your brain with some fun facts and as far as energized. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> so they had actually reached out to us and they said, you know, we've got this fun mystery box that we would like you guys to check out. And we're like, hey, you know what? We, we like mystery boxes, like mystery boxes. First of all, the color of this box that's right up your alley. I, I love it. It's great. <laughs> Something I wanted to point out before we dug into it was it's wrapped in plastic. Now they put stickers all over the box, but having it wrapped in plastic, mm -hmm. it's not getting damaged, you know, water beat up or anything. Keep those stickers it's safe. Not dirty. All right. The other nice thing is the address stickers and the shipping stickers all on the plastic. If you want to reuse the box, you've got a really nice box. It's clean. There's no sticker residue on it except for the stickers that they put on there. And there are some fun ones. We got Kurt Wagner. But in the Munich Circus, I was known as the Incredible Nightcrawler. Yes, say this. And then we got the cookie crazy PhD lady herself. Harley Quinn. And that's a very cute sticker. It is an adorable one with Mr. J. She's sitting on a box for Mr. J. And then everybody's favorite Merc with the mouth, my favorite Hufflepuff, Deadpool. And there's R2 swearing and being beep, censored beep, beep, as pop, always. Beep, beep, boop, beep, boop. You watch your language. And right in the center boot. is Please, please do boot. Boot. The Coffee Madness sticker itself. He communicates via a system of beeps and whistles. He doesn't say bleep, blap. So right on top is a note from Coffee Madness. Got some little stickers on there. And it says, congratulations and welcome to the famous number one YouTube channel, Coffee Madness. You're now part of the Coffee Madness Energizer Squad. Congratulations for being a member and thank you for purchasing the Elite Members Boxes. A cup of coffee shared with friends is happiness tasted and time well spent. We got some stickers. Holy cow. Got some more stickers. So you've got the Mad Titan himself. I don't like him. He dusted <laughs> a lot of people I like. Oh, you've got a, it's a Mr. cutesy Jay. Joker, but he's got a razor blade. Oh, you got some evil droid action. Wow. Okay. That looks like a very much like a battle symbol flag kind of a thing. <laughs> I can see that. You know? And you have Lord Vader. Uh, it kind of looks like he's taken in a sunset. Why does it look like he's got the Deathly Hallows on him? Oh. <laughs> oh, he's so sad. Oh. Why is Deadpool crying? What's the matter, Deadpool? <laughs> he misses his chimichangas. As always, stickers are always fun. I mean, you yes. put them on anything, of course. Or get a magnet sheet, make them into magnets, reuse them over and over Love again. Love doing that with stickers. All right, next we have a tiny mini booze collectible. <laughs> mini booze. Still mystery. <laughs> oh, is it a little panda bear? Oh, wow. How cute is that? It's a little purple panda with big eyes. Uh, oh, I don't know though. Those eyes are following oh, me. Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't know if I like that part. Oh, cute and creepy. And of course, on the back of the box, they show you all different kinds that you can get. We got another mini booze oh. collectible. What is this one? What is this one? Oh, it's a unicorn! Oh! It's a pink glittery unicorn! How oh, cute. wow! That is so cute. So this is basically like a hard plastic figure collectible of the stuffed animals that you can get. Ooh, we got a Hatchimal. I always wanted to open a Hatchimal and see what <laughs> the fuss is all about. It's just a little egg. That's it. You just That's get the it. egg. You just get an egg. How do you hatch them? Oh no! Oh no, it hatched! I think it's a mermaid kitty with wings. That's cute! Just what you need, a cat a that can fish. follow <laughs> you everywhere. In the water, in the sky, 
<laughs> okay, but it is pretty cute. It is pretty adorable. <laughs> <laughs> we got a little uh, Aquaman. Although, for a little plush Aquaman, gonna say, I think you would have preferred the new Aquaman. Yeah. You, you'd like I, to I have prefer him. the more brown haired Aquaman to the blonde Aquaman. Although, uh, he, uh, he probably wouldn't be squishy. No, I'm Aquaman. Don't like waiting in the rain for him. Here you go. <laughs> so, Pint Size Heroes Science Fiction. Oh, Perfect for you! It's Doc! <laughs> could not have gotten a better figure. That is perfect. Dr. Emmett Brown. That is yes. great with his goggles on his head. That is fantastic. That is pretty great. Oh, look! It's a sucker. Oh, it is. I didn't know they still did, like, ring pop suckers. And it's from PJ Masks. That's, that's funny. That's super cute. That's nice. We got two, yes. so now we don't so have we to can fight share. over it. <laughs> we got a little zipper bag full of some goodies here. A very cool keychain of nice Coffee key Madness. I like, I like how it's... Erased? Is that what yeah. you're going to say? Yeah, that's what I like about it. Very cool. And we have a fun Captain America button. Oh, yeah. We nice. love our button. Then we have a, looks like a Coffee Madness t-shirt here. Nice plain colored t-shirt because sometimes you just don't want, you know, big print on your tummy, but you do have that cool looking patch right there on the sleeve. So, you know, you're not like totally out there, but you're still representing. I like that. It's always nice to have shirts like that and it's a good color shirt. It is a good color shirt. It's a nice shirt. All right, so we got a good old comic book bag. Oh, cool. This is a great bag to take with you, like to leave in the car or whatever, whenever you go to the comic book shop. So that when you buy your comics, you can just pop there them in that bag. There you go, yeah. And some great classic Marvel yes. covers on there. Really digging the Marvel fanfare with a Black Widow there. All right, you ready to get to the comics? Okay. There's the All meat right. potatoes. So we got Black Panther and the Agents of Wakanda. So this is something that we did slightly know about. They do put some modern comics in there. So it's not just all of the, you know, the older issues and everything that you're getting. You're getting some of the new stuff, which is cool because then gives you a little taste of what you could be checking out if you can get to your comic yeah. shop. I really like the cover art of this one. Age of Conan Valeria. Yeah, that looks cool. Plus, I mean, you've been a long Conan fan, mm -hmm. so. I know that Valeria was his long lost love. Look at that. Now who's hitting you with the facts? <laughs> all right, we've got. Annihilation Scourge. And it looks like uh, we've got all kinds of spatial creatures. We've got the Silver Surfer. We've got, I believe, the Fantastic Four back here. Kinda nice. Looks like it. I don't know if it's like a new team or because of the Fantastic Four, if we've got like a crossover going on. And then we have a variant cover. He's wicked looking. It's uh, it's kind of giving me a bit of a Ultron vibe there when you look real close at his I face. I like Hawkman, even though I know that's DC. <laughs> it's like a scroll and Ultron yeah. dressing up to be the Green Goblin. Call the patent office, copyright the name Green Goblin. I want a quarter every time somebody says it. Something. Guess we'll have to read it and find out. So here's a little tag that says comic set full story. So, you know, hopefully you're getting the full story and you don't have to track down any more issues. We got X-Men number 197, 98, and 99. Maybe the story is red data because it does say part one of three, mm -hmm. two of three, and three of three. So this should be cool. And Whoa, then, uh, like zombie rogue or yeah, something. Yeah, what is happening and here? And she's got like, thing, like zombies coming out of her tummy. This is insane. This will be a fun read. And are we X-Men fans? Uh, just a little bit. Just a tiny bit. If you don't believe us, go check out the TLC video. Thomas <laughs> <laughs> collecting right now. All right, and then the I last like -Men. thing here in the box. <laughs> All right, so this is wrapped up. It's top secret. It's got Deadpool on here, guarding it, of course. Of course. But then look at all of the fun stamps. So, top secret, like she said, with enough coffee, anything is possible. For your eyes only, and let's get energized all over the place, because this is Coffee Madness. Looks like it's another 
Death Wish coffee morning. Same old, same old, unless, you know, Lacey's done anything to up my Death Wish game. Oh, snap. She got me the Death Wish horn, guys. Death Wish coffee horn hook! Well done, Lacey. Look at that stack There's of a comics. Big stack of comics here. What do we have here? Wildcats! And then we have Let's Get Energized. It's Coffee House Madness time. Wow! First issue! Hey, it's always fun to get a first issue. Yes. What else? Oh my. Whoa. <laughs> Violator Bedrock. <laughs> so this looks like it. Uh, I don't know if it actually is a spawn comic, but she's got spawn on her belt there. Oh, yeah, she does. Good eye. And this monster here does kind of look like the Violator. He's going to do some violating of her. Whoa, whoa. Wow. Well, look at that outfit. Uh, it's barely on. I don't even know what these things are on her legs. Like, is that cloth? Was it pants, but it ripped? What was Cammy from Street Fighter? What was <laughs> on her legs? <laughs> All right, what do we got here? The Battle of the Planets. Got some space battling going on here. Zap. <laughs> Next, we have Strangers. Ultraverse. I remember hearing this about like this. Storm. Uh, well, With a you pink know, outfit. Back in the day, you, you just borrowed ideas for I mean, it even looks like her outfit. That's funny. I think there was actually a game based on the Ultraverse universe of comics as well. This cover makes me think of like, do you remember those black light velvet weird psychedelic paintings? I could see paintings? that. Hey, yeah, and... <laughs> I tell you what, that would make a pretty great one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got Batman! So we have Batman Endgame Special Edition. So this is also a first issue. Lucky Ducky Special Edition. Yeah, right here it says GameStop exclusive. I know, I didn't realize GameStop had comics. Yeah, that's Or ever curious. had a comic. Unless it came out with a game. You think it was like a, a pre-order bonus for a game? I guess it could have, but... Whenever I think of Batman games, of course, now I think of the Arkham games. Yeah. Uh, you won't get away with this! Alright, now we have the Nth Man, or the mm. Ninth Man. Mm. The Nth Man, Beyond World War Three. So, we also have a Bronze Age goodness here. Uh, is that Galactus sitting on a throne back there? Kind of looks like it. All right, interesting. It does say Marvel Comics. And is this... The either female this server? Is a silver Surfer? Female Silver Surfer or Silver Surfer on Friday nights. Oh. Don't ask. Don't judge. Okie dokie then. Now we have, this is it, the shocking conclusion of Power Lord, the extraterrestrial warriors. <laughs> So we've got lots of people going on here. we got Superman and Batman in a crowd. It looks like Green Lantern, and I don't know who that is from the back. These people are going to beat them up. Uh, I don't think Superman's going to stand for that. Now we have X-Men number 164. We got some Wolverine and Sabretooth going on here. It's very odd art. Their faces are kind of weird. Yeah. Of course, something me and my buddies from back in the day would always laugh at were the muscles on muscles on muscles. Yeah. All right. Well, this should be fun for you. We've got issue number 202, Messiah Complex. We've got some serious Mr. Sinister going on here with... Sold. I'm sold. I guess we don't need to go on with the fact that we've got Gambit and Rogue on the cover. Doesn't matter. Mr. Looks Sinister. Looks like maybe we got the White Queen. Doesn't matter. Okay. Mr. Sinister. Okay, we don't. you guys don't get to know who that is in the middle. Oh, we got the Amazing Mary Jane. How lovely. Oh, look at Spidey all cowering down on her leg. <laughs> That's fun. I've not read any of the Mary Janes yet, so this should, this should be a fun one. What else we got here? Oh, The Amazing Mary Jane. So we got number three and number one. Nice. From the pages of Spider-Man, her first ever solo issue. Well, this will be great. This will be perfect to, to start it off with. 
Oh, Mary Jane, those legs go all the way up? Why, yes. Ah! Oh my God, you're a monster! The Amazing Spider-Man number 36, 2099, is in trouble. Oh, interesting. So maybe a little crossover with Spider-Man 2099? Like it does look like Yeah. Well, that's cool. Mm-hmm. Next, The Amazing Spider-Man number 38. We got some dice going on here that kind of looks like Clark Kent, doesn't it? <laughs> a little bit. He's like, hey, I was in the Marvelverse. I'm just going to cheat at some dice. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, running away from throwing dice, man. <laughs> a terrible nickname, throwing so dice, So the question man. is, is this just he's being overwhelmed in a casino or did he get shrunk? I, I hope he's shrunk because that would be way more fun. But it's time I cut you down to size. Ooh. Oh, no. What's the last one? Ooh, Black Cat. I love me some Black Cat. This cover is a lot of fun. It's got kind of a James Bond does, thing with the yeah. swirl here. She's got nine lives here on the cover, and it looks pretty much like it. I mean, we've got her, looks like maybe drowning, being shot, her Maxim cover shoot. She's covered in something there. She's in jail, catching on fire, falling off a building, and just being sultry and winking at you. Now, this artist, J. Scott Campbell, but I've always liked his work, especially when it comes to some of the femme fatales of the Marvel Universe. He always really makes them pop. There's some in here that, you know, I might check out just for fun, but there's definitely some in here that have definitely piqued my interest that I would check them out and then maybe continue on going reading them. Now, we are unabashedly more Marvel than yes. DC, but we just love comics. So... Having these in our hands, it's like, yes. well, no reason not to check it out. Uh, so it will be cool to, you know, like dig into some of these independent comics, some of the stuff from the Bronze Age, and some DC comics, uh, especially the ones that are part of a mini series. You know, kind of jump in there, see if that story piques your interest enough to go out and maybe get the rest. Yeah. As a whole, I gotta say, this was a fun box to go through. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, some of like the toys and everything, the little collectibles. If you've got little kids in the house or something, it's right up their alley, you know. Uh, plus, who doesn't love a good little mystery box and everything? Things like that are always fun. The t-shirt is nice. It's always nice having a, a good quality t-shirt. Yes. And again, having that patch instead of like a huge print on the front, it is nice to have that variety as well. But the comics, with like a comic loot crate box type thing, that can be iffy. Yeah. There are so, so many comics out there and trying to find ones that, as a comic fan, fit your fandom. That could be tough. Honestly, I feel like a comic mystery box is not designed for everybody out there. If you are just a generic comic book fan and you don't care what the comic is, you just want to read comics, a mystery box is perfect for yeah. you. If you're somebody who's a little bit more like us, who we have certain storylines we like to follow, mm -hmm. it's not always the best. Because you might not be a person who wants to collect comics for the sake of collecting comics. You want the specific issues you're looking for. Right, that is true. But this is also a great way of getting you into comics that you wouldn't normally get into. I could definitely see this being a fun box to pick up, you know, like once a year. Because when you're getting like some of the modern issues, it might get you to read something that maybe you missed at the mm -hmm. store. I Yeah, I kind of like that idea. You know, if you're just getting into it or doing an occasional yeah. box, that would be a lot of fun. Now, they did tell us that these boxes are available at one of their local comic shops. We don't have that comic shop in our area, sadly. But what I'm going to do, of course, is leave a link to Coffee Madness in the description. First of all, check out their channel, see if you get some fun facts have some fun, get energized, of course. Hit them up, let them know if you're interested in this box or anything, especially if you're not in the area, or if you are in the area, check out the shop. Seriously, check out your local comic shop. Like, seriously. Yes. Check out your local comic shop, guys. They need you there. Now, we are generally suckers for mystery boxes, especially when we're at a convention. Um, if I were at a convention and I saw this, I would probably pick one up just because, you know, when you got that convention high and everything, yeah. you're having a lot of fun and the allure of a mystery box. You know, you got to know what's in there. If I were at a local comic shop and I saw this, I might not pick it up, but just because if I'm in the comic shop, I'm, I'm probably focused, laser focused on something more specific. 
but I do like the idea of if you're trying to get into comics, you know, having a place to start, like a nice stepping stone. Something like this at a convention actually would be a lot of fun, especially if you and a buddy both pick up the boxes. Oh, yeah. Because then you can kind of compare and trade and stuff like that. Or if like if a bunch of people, like even if they're not buddies, but if you're there and you're seeing a bunch of people buying it, you're like, hey, everybody, let's go over here to this table. Let's all open it up. And then just kind of like maybe trade around either the yeah. toys oh, or the yeah. comics. Ooh, I like that comic. You like this comic. You know, you have well, a lot of fun icebreaker. Yeah, that, and it. that's how you grew up with comics, you know, back oh, in yeah. the day. Trading oh, with yeah. your buddies anyway. So, all right. Well, once more, nerdlings, please check out the link in the description below. Head on over to Coffee Madness. Let them know what you thought of the box. Let us know what you thought of the box in the comments down below. Give the video a like if you happen to like it. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell. Um, I'll listen for it, but no promises. I got a couple of books to read, but you know, I'll be back still listening for the, for the bell. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public and check out the merchandise we've got over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh, and if we like it. We nerd it. I mean, for comics. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm super excited to check this one out. This one's really got my attention. And also, we nerd it for coffee. Just, just saying. You especially love your coffee. <laughs> <laughs> cup of coffee, cup of comics. I'm good for the day. Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. What's up, true believers? I like British ninja chicks. <laughs> I'll cut my damn arm off. <laughs> All right, ready? Yep. How are you gonna edit with that noob? The mosquito. <laughs> I don't think I got it. That was probably should be. Yeah. Good. Okay, I'm, ready? Don't put that in there, Tom. We hope you enjoy these comics. They come from our personal collection. They range from DC, Marvel, and independent. We understand that people collect comics for value. We collect them for entertainment purposes, so the grading will vary. In this box, you will get one full set or a novel, 10 mystery comics ranging from Marvel, DC, or Independent, a collectible, and a t-shirt, and also monthly entertainment of topics of conversation and a joke. We have multiple membership boxes every month. Stay tuned and contact us for any choices that you may have in the future. Please understand that we have very little control of the comics being sent to you in the members box. They come from our personal collection and we take care of our comics as much as we can. Sometimes customers aren't as happy. Please contact us and leave some feedback. 